How's it going? Welcome to Good Company and welcome back to the Giga Factory. Just want to start by saying thank you to everyone who has been watching and enjoying the Good Company content and the Giga Factory playthrough. I try my hardest to make these videos and getting things progressed. Uh, but I work full time and working full time and doing YouTube is hard work. So thank you for your patience. And today is pretty much all about trying to get things progressed as quickly as we can. I want to get the market phases up to like four or five so we can start making new products using more different modules and stuff like that and generally just getting a move on with stuff i want to do conveyor belts automation machines everything and i want to do it pretty quick so at the start of the episode I actually went into business development and unlocked the bigger shelves and also some of the conveyor belt parts for what i want to do is conveyor belts i ideally need everything so we'll get to conveyor belts next episode um, but i realized to unlock some of the parts that you need you have to have the tier three triangle research points so that's what we're doing now i had a look at the research table to see what we uh, could analyze uh, to get the triangle research points and it gave us single jointed segment and also simple gearbox so actually started a new work zone a really small work zone um just anywhere i could fit it i didn't really want to buy a new building because this was just going to be temporary until we get the conveyor belt parts that we need um so started off by doing single jointed segments it turns out it's actually easier to make the simple gearbox so we changed over to that in a minute however I didn't realize it takes a lot of components to make these things and I had to cram it right in. And I think I did a pretty good job of getting everything into such a small space. So literally last thing to do was just transport the simple gearboxes over to our research area. And well, it got the job done. It wasn't the best output, but I only literally needed it to get the, the tier three triangle research points, get them done, get the conveyor belts, unlocked and then i don't know we'll probably just delete it or maybe just leave it there for now until we need the space back um i'll just check in see if the route was actually working so just following that little worker and uh they make it and we start getting the points in through analysis so that's all absolutely fantastic there next thing on the list to do was actually up production of all of our products i wanted to get the market phases like progressed so we could use like better modules and just create some better products because we're using like the same modules all the time now. So just starting with the toy robots, the plan was to actually just put down some more assembly tables. However, we had so many success points and I remembered that we could actually unlock a new assembly table, uh, specifically the bot assembly table through business development. And that speeds up the assembly of bot products. So literally perfect to use here. I do try and do something funky with the layout it doesn't really work though i wanted to get as many tables as i could and i thought you know what if i spin some of the tables around i could probably uh get more fitted into this area however there just wasn't enough space for logistics workers to to go where they needed to go like paths were blocked off and everything so we just went for this simple layout here we got six tables in which was uh, decent i do try and fit some more in in a bit but it just it just doesn't work and we're just using one double shelf which uh, literally is perfect it gives you enough space for the modules and also enough space for the end product to go on so you don't have to worry about assigning input and output shelves for every table you just whack down a double shelf and it just works it's uh, it's so good i originally moved all of the original shelves that had the modules on over to like another uh, just to the sidewall to get them out of the way I thought the logistics workers would pick up the modules from those shelves and then put them on the new shelves. It didn't work, so I just ended up deleting them. And uh, I think I wasted a lot of modules there. If I was if I was clever, I'd have put them on a pallet and just sold them. Uh, but I wasn't clever. I just was like, you know what? Get rid of them. Don't want, don't want to see them anymore. Moving on to our small case production area. I wanted to do eight tables originally for each product. I think that's going to be too many and it's not going to fit with the conveyor belts that we put in here later but originally in this area we were actually using two corner shelves um, so I just go around and change them for the double shelves it's going to make it a lot simpler to maintain and also when we change products in the future we're, we're less likely to run out of space and also it's going to it's going to be helpful for when we actually do include conveyor belts into this area 
I feel like six tables for each product is going to be suitable for what we need to do. I want to do two pallets of each product per week, basically. That's that's the end goal for this. So here I am just progressing some of the market phases. I feel like we're on the edge of having to design new products. These products we've got at the moment are still selling fine, I think. I say that we're in minus, <laughs> we're in minus money. Uh, so I guess one more market phase will have to design a brand new product using better modules and well we'll get to that when we get to it but that's what i want we we want more products better products and it's going to really help us with the cash problem that we've basically been having since the start so we're just doing a little bit of troubleshooting there i actually realized that one of the products was running out of led matrices and it turns out the tables that were making the led matrices were actually running out of circuit boards so I went over to the circuit board making area along with the uh, plastic parts and I realized that I hadn't put any shelves down for the tables making the circuit boards. So the workers were actually walking a really long distance to the pallet and then back and that was um, causing them to produce the circuit boards slower and that had a knock on effect across the factory and um, literally you could see the effect at the end product which is really cool. So that's what I like about this game as well you can see something going wrong and you can kind of trace it back to the origin of the problem once you fix that then you see if it's still working and then if there's another problem you can trace that to another area and it all all just seems to work so it's all uh, all good I feel like we did have enough points for the conveyor belt parts there I'm not sure if I unlocked them or not and um, but we're just increasing the amount of LED matrices here and then again just cleaning up these uh, shelves going to be doing double shelves on on each of the each of the tables I didn't want to do them all at the same time because it was going to knock out our production for a little bit and then our money would go down saying that you know the money was dreadful anyway and I believe we actually get bailed out by another milestone <laughs> like any minute now we can't rely on the milestones any longer we need to we need to get in profit by making better product and and selling them really so that was the episode today there is our gearbox making area again this is very temporary just to get the tier 3 triangle research points here is our new bot assembly area kind of want to spin them tables around so you get a better view and then here is our assembly area updated with the new product so thank you for watching stay safe have fun i'll see you on the next one